These long lines are very long, aren't they? They are very aptly named. Look it's literally going to be three kilometres long. It's 3.3, so we should theoretically drop it round about the top of that bike. So this is good. I can use this for the tutorial. There we go. It's just dropped. So, let's kill the engine. Go to the map, move this. So it's, it, it is literally a two and a half thousand line is 2.5 kilometers long. So that is the theory behind it. So I now, I can now set up my route the way I want it, because I know it's going to be two and a half, 2.5 kilometers. So we'll pop that there. And then this one come across and that's also going to be 2.5 kilometers. Pretty good, right? So we know that that's how long these lines are. So we, that should be an accurate prediction of where we're going to lay them. Now, that's interesting. I've lost a bucket there. That third bucket has not gone back on top of the other bucket. So that's interesting. That is interesting. All right. Next line. Again, no fish on the sonar, so we're dropping very early. Now we got fish. And I think that's cod. Is that cod? Haddock. Cod's down the bottom there. Now we got two lots of fish on there. I'm assuming that's cod and haddock. This line should make good money. What I might do with this one. Let's just come back on myself like that. So that we don't have too far to travel. Wow, gone well off course. Look at that. Put my eyes off the uh, game for a moment. I think we've got three lots of fish on there now. Nice. And we, we should have two because there's absolutely tons on there. I do feel like, correct me if I'm wrong, if you've got an experience of long line fishing, is it possible to pull the long line in from either end? Because I'm just trying to think what the best way of setting up a long line system is when you've got multiple long lines. And I'm thinking like a star system and then you go and sail back to the middle and then haul everything in from there. I mean, that makes more sense. A lot less fuel, a lot less time consuming. I can't think of any logical reason why a long line can't be hauled in from either direction. Maybe there is one that I'm not aware of. Yeah, I think that's an interesting theory. I might do that next time. There's the next time. Look at that. We're just about to lose our third lot of fish. But that should be a very profitable line, that one. 
when we turn around and go back the other way that should also be quite profitable it's been nearly there now 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 surely now now still not what's going on <laughs> There we go. Alrighty. And break turn. Straight back at it. Bosh. Lovely stuff. So again, you can see we've got two lots of fish on the sonar. And as we get closer to... Ah, see, the fish have gone over that line. So now the pollock and the cod are over there, and the haddock and the catfish are this side. But still, nothing has gone up that end, so it will be really interesting to see if there's anything on that line at all. Because officially, we're still in a fish habitat, so... What does that mean, exactly? There you go, back up with three fish. So this one should be very profitable. Let's hope so anyway. Alrighty, we're coming up to the end of this line. Should be any moment now. For the most part, we've had just one type of fish on here. I'm not sure we're picking up the catfish. I'm guessing we must be. So, uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what, what sort of catches we get on each line, I guess. There we go. Now we can head back round... Well, original starting point and then start picking these up Gonna get my eyes on our boy out there. Oh, I see it. Dead ahead. There we go. Time to skip. We'll do 14 hours on the nose. That seems to work <coughs> well for me. What? I jumped loads. All right, 14. There we go. Bosh. So, now we have to go pull her in. Very different with this new engine because the acceleration is so much more obvious. Here goes nothing. So remember, this is the line which had no fish, but there's a fish right there, straight away. Damn it, didn't get it. Ah, oh, that's two I've missed. We're not starting well. Right, we've got one. It's 
two. Damn it. And uh, nothing on that hook. Damn it, blast. So difficult. I don't know if it's me that's rubbish or it's a bug in the game. I, I really don't know. How to tell you. How to catch these bloody things. Right, we got a couple there. That's not too bad, I suppose. You notice we've only got one bucket. So out of the three that we brought with us, we've only got one left. Bit disappointing, isn't it, really? All right, let's back up and see if we can haul in this line from this end. Because that would be exceptional. That would save us so much time and effort and fuel and energy. I don't think it will work. But we don't try, we don't know, do we? I think I just hit it. I think it's under the boat. I think it's directly under the boat. Now that would be a big problem in real life because you're likely to get there it is. <laughs> you're likely to get the uh, the line wrapped around your prop. That's a serious problem when you're out at sea. Steering is awful. Yes. Oh, you can. You can pull her in from either end. Fantastic. That did not work before. At least I couldn't get it to work before. Ah, here we go, though. So that's really good news, right? That's going to save me a lot of time and effort, that is. I've got myself a little spot here. Seems to be working. I'm going to try and hold it, maintain it. Seems to be working, that's three. So we're looking at just under the line, sort of round about where the, you know, it doesn't work with all of them, clearly. Just about where the fish come out of the water. And then what I'm doing, rather than aiming for the, the fish's mouth, I'm aiming for the hook. That was a tiny one, wasn't it? That was tiny. Ah, there's definitely no 100% guarantee. Nice, we're going to get a good haul here. This is going to be good, this one. Brilliant. Got that one well early. Okay, cool. So now we can just go back to our last line, even though it's at the end, and pull it in that way. That's fantastic news. Long line tutorial 101. The game has evolved, improved. Eyes on the prize. Let's see if we can spot it before it pops up on the map. Apparently, according to the map, it's dead ahead of us. So I think it's maybe a bit foggy out there. But I can't see it for toffee right now. I think we're going too fast. Yeah. Straight past it. Good drive in there, Sim. Well done. God. See, that should have really got caught up in the prop the way I just did that. Maybe one day they'll add that sort of level of realism. Just about got it, like... Right, so we'll aim just under the line. 
and aim for the hook. And this time I can't get it. Ah, oh, nuggets. Here we go again. Back to not knowing how to do it, I guess. Son of a bitch. So right where it just changes colour there, that's where you want it. I think. Just below that marker there. Just a little bit to the left of that as well. No! See where it changes colour there, where it's just going into the water. I really thought I was going to get that one. The little ones definitely seem harder to grab. Don't lose it. Ah. Let's have a look, see how well we did. That's not too bad. We got some cod, some pollock, some cod. Catfish, pollock, more cod. Haddock. Okay. I don't think we're going to be super rich off this, but um, we tried out some new techniques and they worked pretty well, didn't they? Let's head home. Let's see how much money we've made off three lines. Don't forget to factor in the fact that each line costs us 25 grand. And, oh, hang on, we got three again. What's happened there? Well, that's incredibly odd. I wasn't expecting that, I'll be honest. We put another one down. Why not? We're going straight through the fish, right? Let's put a line down and see if we can't grab a few extra little pennies on the way home. I suppose that poses another question, doesn't it? What, what about if I put a line down half in and half out of the fishing area? What happens then? Let's test it out. Let's find out. Why is my sonar gone completely invisible? The lighting in the game, that is. Okay, so we're on some fish. That's good. And it's cod and it's catfish. That's great news. Great news. Well, no fish now. But they're swimming about a bit, so there's a chance they may come further up this way. Go. Okay. That was it. Sounded like that was it. Must have just been a boy. It was. Right, skip some time. Cool, it's night time. So let's put the old searchlight on. Press L and then, oh Christ, that's very sensitive. So that moves it up, and that moves it right, that moves it left. But if you put it too high up, and this is the best one, by the way, if you put it too high up, I can't see a bloody thing. So, like, I'm trying to get it on that boy, but in all honesty, it just doesn't shine far enough out. A little, tiny little dot shining up on the top there. What's that done? Oh, I see. So this is the switches. So one on. So that's the work light. And that's the internal light. Okay. Presumably that's the spotlight there. So yeah, quite disappointed in the spotlight. The lighting in this game is certainly not perfect yet. But uh, yeah, that's not working too well. 
All right, press L to close it again. Let's go and get our fish. Spit past it. Past it again. Now I think it's under the boat. No, it's right there. Just got it in time. Damn it. I can't turn the lights on from here. Ha! Not 100% guaranteed to get you a catch, is it? But it does seem more effective here, just on that. Just in that line there. So we're getting a decent number of fish, considering uh, maybe they're a bit smaller than I would like. Sometimes you have to step back for the little ones, I've noticed. Oh, that's a good one. That's a nice one. Another nice one there. Not bad at all. Looking very healthy now. Right, so we are still officially, I think, in the habitat. Let's have a look. Yeah, so officially we're still in the habitat. So let's do an experiment. Let's drop one more line. And we'll see whether we get this line back as well. So out of the three, we've got two on the deck and one on the back of the boat so let's see let's see what happens when we uh, pull this one in so we're still just inside just inside the fish area any minute now we'll be outside of it and there's no fish on the sonar at all zero fish let's see what happens Okay, we've just left the fish habitat now. So this is a good test. We will be half in and half out. A couple of questions pop into my head. Will we be able to haul it in from the end of the line that's not in the fish habitat? Or will I have to go back into the fish habitat and haul it in from the other end? Um, and then obviously, are we going to catch any fish? And if so, how many? And what type? Because there are no fish on the sonar. There's no fish near our hook at all, as far as we can tell. So lots of good tests here being done. Yeah, there's another boy just dropped. So we should be on the last leg now. 250.25 kilometers rather. 250 meters. Ah, another boy down. Okay, so we've still got another 250. Oh, no, that's it. That is the last one. Okay, go. Let's turn around. Let's find it. There it is. I've lost it. Where has it gone? Oh, I see it. I see it. I see it. Right, let's skip time. Watch. Is 
it there. It is. Cool. Right, so aiming just below where the line goes into the water, just to the left of that. Damn, those those particular fish, whatever they are, I really struggle with them. Look at the size of that bad boy. Ah, oh, I couldn't get him. So yeah, we've proved it then. You can definitely get fish, even if you're half outside of the fishing area. So I, I don't know what the point of chasing the fish is at the moment. It obviously doesn't make any difference. Maybe that's something they're going to implement later in, like, in the game. The little ones are trickier to get. I don't know if I should get closer or further away. I can't quite figure it out. It's so many. A decent haul. And we've got all three buckets left. So that's really good news. Right. Let's go home. See how much money we've made. So we did five lines there in one hit. The game has changed quite considerably. Um in the in the three weeks that I've been playing it. Previously it seemed you could only haul the line in from the end, one end. Now you can pull them in from either end. So the new system is much, much quicker to fish, far more efficient, use less fuel, takes less time. So many benefits to it. Obviously you still need to make sure that you've got your long line ability unlocked. That's the first thing. If you haven't got that, you can't fish. You need to make sure you have your hook so that you can pull the fish into the boat. If you haven't got that, you cannot fish. You need to make sure that you have bait and you need to make sure that you have a long line. And that's it. Now, I'm not 100% convinced that the long lines will definitely be usable more than once. When we first started playing, you would buy a long line, you would fish with it, and it would disappear. That doesn't seem to happen quite so much anymore, but I'm still not 100% sure that it's Going, going to keep them. So if you could just buy maybe one, two, or three lines, I think that's more than enough to go out there and earn yourself a million bucks. But obviously, every time you purchase a line, that's going to eat into your profits. And the 25,000 for the 2,500 one. So uh, that's quite a big chunk of cash that's coming out of your profits if... Uh, if you're having to replace the line all the time. Hopefully that won't happen quite so much. But I can get closer to this. Good news is um, that we've made some real progress here and this should be much, far more effective, far more profitable for you using this new technique. Um, previously, of course, the game was crashing a lot so my recommendation was to put one line down, skip, haul that in, put another line down, skip, haul that in. Thankfully, you don't need to do that now. So it's just a case of heading out there, dropping all of your lines, making sure to bring them in nice and close to yourself. Where am I going here? Might be a nice idea if, uh, where we place a, a flag. We get a little marker on the... Uh... Right, typo, but they know what I mean. Lovely stuff. So, upgrading the fuel tank isn't really necessary anymore to be able to go fishing because the fuel usage is, is far more reasonable than it was before um, in addition to that um, upgrading the engine and the propeller seems to be the best way to get the boat moving faster uh, the steering wheel and the throttle appear to be cosmetic only Although the jury's still slightly out on that one. But I, I think they're cosmetic. I didn't notice any significant difference with them on. Um, and yeah, 
overall the whole fishing experience has improved greatly you, you, there's not going to be long before the small fishing boat has a restriction on how much fish you can hold so bear that in mind there's a short small window where you can go in and earn lots of money without having to work too hard for it now is that cheating yes it is but i'm testing and i'm trying to produce tutorials for you guys so that you can see how everything works and how it all ties together and the only way i could do that um is to progress and to be fair i have been out there fishing many 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 times and the game has crashed on me and i've lost all of my fish and my and i've lost hundreds of thousands of pounds of long lines so yes i kind of feel like vindicated in many ways i feel like this is money owed to me from all the time and effort i've already put into the game so i will take it and i will not worry too much about the fact that i'm kind of cheating the game on this occasion because it seems to even itself out if nothing else i can think on seven occasions at least my game has crashed and i've lost money so Bear yeah, that in mind. Do you reckon we'll take damage if we bump into one of these markers? And if so, how much? This could be this could be catastrophic. If I bump into this, let's bump into it very slowly, shall we? just see how much damage it does I am so nervous about this it could throw me across the map and lose all my fish oh that was 50% damage oh I highly recommend you don't do that <laughs> yowza there's a lesson learnt I thought it might be nasty glad it wasn't any nastier than that and i really slowed down to hit it as well so if you hit that fast if you're distracted and you bang into one of them at high speed there's a good chance you're going to sink your boat i think that was serious whoa i already had a little bit of damage so let's say 45 percent damage there hitting it slowly holy cow Let's get ourselves home get these fish sold and we'll see how profitable this little run was Bring it in straight where the fishery is obviously our boat is going a lot faster now so i need to come off the throttle a lot earlier than usual don't want to damage the boats Lovely stuff. All right, let's jump up here. Still waiting for them to swap that around so you don't have to look at the side of the boat. You can look at the harbour to get out. It'll happen in time, I'm sure. Right, one million. We just made one million off that. That was five, two and a half thousand long lines. We now have enough for our next boat. I'm going to save the game. Bosh. So we've got a fully upgraded little fishing boat which is abs an absolute dream to go fishing in i really enjoy fishing in this boat um oh, it looks like i've got a bucket on the back still i've got three there plus that one that's a bit strange let me just uh yeah that was a bit odd 
Right, let's save it again, because if you save the game with a bucket on the back, you do lose the bucket at the moment, so don't do that. Do not do that. Right, a successful mission. Well done, everybody. That's how you fish. You make lots of money. Let me just show you the skill trees. Skill tree, you must have under fishing the long line of capability, otherwise you can't fish. Okay, very important. And you'll also need to go to the shop and buy the hook. You can pull the fish into the boat, otherwise you cannot fish. And I don't think it tells you either. So you can get all the way out there, and if you haven't got the long line, the bait, the hook, and that ability turned on, you're probably in trouble. Although you could do the skill tree thing you could do whilst you're out at sea. So this is the other thing you need, this hook. Absolutely essential. So there we go. There's this thing that uh, doesn't seem to be viable at the moment, and it disappears when you use it, so don't buy it. Um, you're going to regret it if you do. In time, this will become useful once we've got the, the radar and stuff. But uh, as it is at the moment, we don't have any of that. So let's just come into the shipyard. Fix my boats repair all there we go but she's all up and running and looking really good not that dirty so i'm not going to clean her but yeah that's so how it's done guys let me know in the comments if that's helpful and uh i'll see you in the next one oh actually let's actually i'm going to buy the boat in my next stream because people will want to see that i think yeah all right, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Goodbye for now.